These are bears. They each have a little AI brain that's capable of learning. And they only have one goal. Survive as long as possible. The rules are simple. Food is good. Surviving for longer than you did before is really good. And dying is bad. Early on, our bears just kind of wiggle around because their little brains are randomly responding to the world around them. They can move forward and backward and turn left or right. But at the moment, they don't understand any of those concepts. So let's see what they can learn. So there's a few things to note. Some bears are bigger than others, and some are faster than others. Being bigger or faster requires more energy, which can be tracked using the energy bar above each bear's head. Smaller bears are more agile, or in other words, they can turn more quickly than larger bears, which is good because those larger bears can eat them. Speaking of which, there's three types of food. Berries, which can be eaten by any omnivore. Bamboo, which can only be eaten by panda and the bears themselves, which, again, can eat any bear smaller than themselves, with the exception of Panda, who, of course, is a vegan. In practical terms, this means that Polar Bear, as the largest bear, cannot be eaten by anything, and Sun Bear, as the smallest bear, can't actually eat any meat despite being an omnivore. Furthermore, as an obligate carnivore, Polar Bear gets twice as much energy from meat when compared to omnivores. Sun Bear doesn't get any bonus, since its inability to eat meat stems from bad luck rather than dietary specialism. Anyway, that's about it, so let's see how they get on. You'll notice some data right here. The yellow bars track the time since a bear's last death. Green bars track the average survival time over the last 10 lives, and white bars track the average survival time for the entire simulation. You'll see rankings change based on the green bars, as these give us the best indication of who's doing well at a given point in time without giving too much weight to a singular lucky or unlucky run. Finally, you'll see these numbers at the side. They represent each bear's current survival target in seconds, which was initially set based on how long they can survive without any food. If they reach their target, the neural network powering their brains will receive its survival reward, and the target will increase by one second. Now let's see what happens. A little after 15,000 runs, we can see that the bears are moving around a little bit more. And we can start to see some advanced strategies emerging. For example, brown bear just loves to run backwards ensuring that it pushes berries away and can't see potential prey. But hilariously, this actually works out pretty well for brown bears, so its little AI brain is going to get rewarded for it. And several of the bears settled on the strategy of spinning around in circles until food runs into them or they die. I'm not sure it's the highest IQ move, but we'll see how it works out. And 30,000 runs in, Brown Bear is still walking backwards and getting rewarded for it. Polar Bear has taken a commanding lead, with Sun Bear sitting comfortably in last place. After 80,000 runs, Brown Bear is sticking with its walk backwards strategy, which appears to be working. This defies all logic since the bears can only perceive what's in front of them, but who am I to argue with an AI? Polar Bear has widened the gap between it and number two, and Sun Bear is still sitting at the bottom, taking advantage of that ability to turn really quickly. As we close in on 250,000 runs, Panda looks like it's figured out that it's looking for bamboo. Sort of. As we push into the 300,000s, Polar Bear becomes an absolute menace, showing that it's learned exactly what it needs to do to survive. Moving forward, Polar Bear's lead grows and it really becomes a battle for second place. One interesting thing is that Sun Bear actually starts to do pretty well. This could be for a number of reasons, but I like to think it's because Sun Bear's small size allows it to more easily pull off sweet escapes like this one, which are all the more important with this nightmare running around. Anyway, 
I left this running for several days, and the only thing that really changed was the size of Polar Bear's lead. I had thought things would be a little bit more competitive, but it's perhaps unsurprising that being the biggest, most powerful bear in a confined space with no predators is a pretty significant advantage. The fight for second place was a lot closer, and these were the final rankings based on the average time survived over the course of the entire simulation. One interesting thing to note are these numbers at the side, which, if you remember, represent a bear's survival target and which increase by one every time that target is met. What this means is that Brown Bear, despite being better than Black Moon Andean or Panda Bear in terms of average survival time, only met its target 22 times. Polar Bear, by contrast, hit its target more than 800 times, meaning that it got nearly 40 times as much survival feedback as Brown Bear, which probably explains why it seemed to have a significantly better understanding of the world around it. And if you want to develop your understanding of the world, you can do it by learning a little bit every day with Brilliant.org. Brilliant helps you build real knowledge in math, data science, programming, and AI. I love that the lessons are interactive and can be completed in just a few minutes whenever you have the time. There are thousands to choose from, including AI-specific topics like how LLMs work. To try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash 8littlebears or click the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Anyway, if you're interested in how I built this, I'm going to release the project files on my Patreon, so check it out if you're interested. I'd also highly recommend the channel Jason Builds, which is what I use to get started with ML Agents in Unity, which is the tool I use to create the simulation. Finally, thanks to all my patrons, your continued support really means a lot. If you liked the video, please hit subscribe, and if you didn't, well, that's okay too. I'll see you next time.